Hey everyone, this video is for newcomers or anybody trying to get into Quake single player. This is my Quake quick start. I'm going to try to be as concise as possible, but I'm going to take us through uh, downloading Quake, Quake Spasm, uh, simple Quake launcher, and where you can get maps, map packs, and other mods, and how to install them. Okay, so first order of business, you need to buy Quake. For the example I'm going to show, we're going to use Quake that is purchased on Steam. We will have to navigate into our Steam apps folder so we can work with the Quake files directly. So we're gonna to go to Steam, Steam apps, that's within our program files. Then we'll look for common. This is where all the common games are installed. Here's Quake, the only game I got installed on this machine. So we're looking for a folder here and it's called id1. There it is. Now with the id1 folder found, we need to download Quake Spasm. You'll find links for all of this in the description. Once you get Quake Spasm, um, we can then copy this id1 folder over to it. But uh, there's one more thing we'll do. Uh, but just so you know, Quake Spasm is a source port. It's basically an updated version of the original engine based off of the original source code. Uh, and this is going to allow us to play it on modern systems relatively comfortably. So anyway, we're going to create a new folder here. It's going to be called Quake. I'm just putting it in my C drive just for simplicity's sake. You could put it anywhere you'd like though. I just stick to doing it this way. So we'll take all the contents from the Quake Spasm folder and extract it to our C Quake folder. Okay, with that complete, we can return to our Steam Apps folder and we will get the id1 folder from our Quake. So that was Steam Apps, Common, Quake. Then there's the id1 folder. We're going to copy it and then we'll return to our root Quake folder. Here we'll simply paste it. That way we have a fresh copy sitting with our Quake Spasm and boom. That's all there is to it. Now Quake Spasm will load and you'll have access to all of your vanilla Quake stuff. So the next thing I'll share is Quedicted, which is the internet's largest repository for Quake maps. Uh, you could search for basically anything you'd want and there's tons of stuff. For now, I'll download Halloween Jam since it's almost that time of year. So we'll return to our Quake directory and we're going to create a new folder called hwjam. We're going to need to remember that because we'll need to link it. So we'll extract all the contents from the hwjam zip that we downloaded. So with this complete, we'll need to create a shortcut of our Quake Spasm executable and modify it to use the hwjam folder. So we'll rename it to Halloween Jam and we're gonna now right click it, go to properties and under target we need to add a value here. We're gonna put hyphen game space hwjam and apply that. With that complete you can now double click the new shortcut and it'll open the Halloween Jam. You can reproduce this procedure for any number of mods. Now I'll show you a simpler way using Simple Quake Launcher. I already went ahead and downloaded it. It's very straightforward. It's a executable and a readme, but not much to read. You take the executable, drop it into your Quake folder, and run it. So now you'll see a menu that has several options. Uh, but more importantly, you'll see that it has already detected that we installed Halloween Jam and it's showing us a map list. Additionally, we can set skill and we can add extra arguments. I'm going to add an extra argument here for uh, increased field of view because, you know, I'm kind of a Quake Pro. So as you can see, this is a lot more straightforward than creating shortcuts and adding game modifiers for any mod you want to play. So next I'm going to show you the procedure for individual maps. So we'll find a map like this old classic of mine. 
and we're going to add it to our vanilla id1 folder. Now we've never done this before, so we're going to have to create a map folder and you're just going to title it maps, plural. With that complete, you just drag the BSP over to it. That's all you need. But as you can see, I made a mistake and dragged the map file, which is the source. That's only relevant to mappers. But with that done, you can refresh the simple quake launcher and it will automatically append it to the list of maps. You select it, hit launch, and now you're in the map you just downloaded. It's that easy. So we've covered about everything, but we're forgetting one very important detail here. And that's the Quake soundtrack. So a special uh, thanks to Johnny Law, who decided to put together this very uh, meticulously detailed walkthrough. But what you need is the download here. It's mirrored on Quidict 2. Once you get the soundtrack, you can open up the folder and you'll find that it has an id1 folder of its own. Within there, you'll see music, and then within music, you see all the tracks. All you need to do is take the id1 folder and drop it in your root quake directory. Well, don't mind my mess, but this is my root quake directory. Uh, as you can see, I have a bunch of stuff here. But if I take my id1 and I just drop it in here, I'll get prompted to replace files or what have you. And that's it. Once you've done that, you will have the soundtrack in place. So that's what I got for today. Let's review what we've done. We've installed Quakespasm. We've imported our vanilla id1 folder from Steam. Uh, we've installed mods. We've installed maps. We also reviewed where to find the music tracks and how to restore them to your id1 folder. And we reviewed how to use Simple Quake Launcher instead of doing the old school uh, shortcuts and stuff. Um, besides that, I'll put some of my custom settings in the description that will set Quake to look more or less the way I have it. And that stuff is kind of important to me. I don't know how important it is to you guys. The other thing is uh, some of my settings for weapon binding, which is also important in my opinion. Other than that, let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to see me cover. And Keep your eyes peeled for more videos like this one.